What's up YouTube? In this video, I take this dirty, disgusting looking concrete covered wood I got for free from a construction site and I turn it into this beautiful geometric piece of wall art, which I then sold for $150. <laughs> Now, before we get started, I'd like to ask for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell so you can be the first to know about all of my brand new videos. Let's begin. First thing I did was I did a rough mathematical estimate of exactly how much wood I would need for this piece. This should be enough. As you can see, by this design I made, each piece of wood is the same width, about three and a half inches. The original boards you see here measured seven and a half inches. So to turn these boards into three and a half inch boards, I started by cutting off just under a quarter inch off of one side of each board with my table saw. I of course used my table saw push stick so I wouldn't cut my fingers off. If you'd like to see how to make one just like it, you should check out the video I made linked at the top of the screen. I then adjusted the guide to do the same for the other side of each board. Doing this would leave a nice square edge so all the boards would fit snugly together. Next, I moved my guide to measure three and a half inches away from the blade. The current width of your wood should measure seven and one eighth inches. You have to account for the thickness of the blade, which my blade is about one eighth of an inch. Then I just went to town. We went from this to this. Wow, that's prettier than a freshly shaved poodle. Now it's time to clean these suckers off. I just laid out my pieces on the lawn, wet them down with the hose. Grabbed a sharp putty knife and started scraping off the stubborn concrete. After I scraped and rinsed my wood, I grabbed some vinegar and a sponge and continued showing the world how to clean wood. Then while I waited for that to dry, I got my backboard ready. I took a piece of plywood that measured 4 feet by 2 feet and measured the exact center from the sides and from the top. And I drew some lines. That's right folks, I drew a line from the top to bottom at 2 feet across. Then I drew a line from left to right, 1 foot up. Then I whipped out my chop saw. started making 45 degree angle cuts. Mm -hmm. 
This piece of art is so easy, every single cut you need to make is at a 45 degree angle. You don't even need to write that down. Then I made rough markings to cut off the excess pieces. I'll use these pieces later. Then as you can see, I just kept going along cutting each piece so it would fit in its place. Hey, are you liking this video so far? Please click the like button. Now that the whole board was filled up, it was time to start cutting some sort of design. What's cool about this geometric art is each quarter is a mirror image of the other quarters. So that meant that any cut that I made to keep it symmetrical, I just had to make sure I cut the other four corresponding pieces the exact same. So that's what I did. I randomly grabbed my first four boards. Line them up on my chop saw and cut them all in the same spot. Then just put them back where they came from. What's cool about this is because all the boards are cut equally, I could now interchange them. So that there weren't any two pieces cut from the same board next to each other. Next, I again completely randomly made some marks on where to make my next set of cuts. Picked the boards. Lined them up and made my cuts. Then like clockwork, I put them back where they belonged. Making sure to switch the pieces around just like before. Then you can see I literally sat there for like 5 minutes trying to imagine what this thing would look like and which board would be which color. But that was it. Those were all the cuts I was gonna make. It ended up looking a little something like this. Now it's time for a paint job. To keep things organized I systematically moved each piece over to my painting station according to the color I was going to paint it. These are all going to be white. These, 
turquoise. And the rest of these will all be stained with wood stain. Now, while I let these dry, it was time to show off my hose dancing skills. Now that the paint and stain was dried, it was time to sand. I painted before sanding because I wanted this piece to have like a rustic look. I wanted the art to look weathered, shabby chic, distressed. One of those terms. And now the fun part. Trying to put this puzzle back together. Now it was time to attach these suckers. I clamped a straight edge to nestle my wood up against to ensure a nice straight line. Then first glued, then nailed with my nail gun. I used one inch brad nails, just enough length to attach but not enough to go all the way through. And if you make any mistakes, it's all good. It's pretty easy to pry up and make any corrections. Waiting for it to dry, I flipped it upside down and clamped down a guide to cut off the excess with my circular saw.
that's left to do is make a frame. So I grabbed a spare 2x12 and ripped off 1 inch pieces. Then before installing the frame, I lightly sanded the edges. Then I just lined up each piece of the frame, made corresponding 45 degree angle cuts, then glued and clamped them on. first two sides were done, I did the same for the remaining two sides. Finished product. Well, that's it for this video. What do you think? Do you like how it turned out? Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.